Stephen, and by the way, it is Heitner, right? I mean, a lot of people want to say something else. It's, it's not Hitner, it's Heitner. Let's go with Heitner. I've been called worse. Yeah. <laughs> what's, the, uh, what's the current project, by the way? Seinfeld is long past in the rearview mirror. What, what are you working on these days? Uh, I'm coming into New York to shoot a, <clears throat> an independent film called Bad Vegan. Kind of a comedy, uh, comedy uh, espionage thing where uh, somebody comes up with an actual transporter, a la Star Trek. And uh, it, it's a funny thing. It's with uh, Brianne Burks, and she's a funny comedian. She wrote it. So I'm coming into New York and do that. And then I just recently got a, <laughs> I just got a noti notified from the uh, Brooklyn Cyclones, you know, the Mets, uh, I think it's their A team, uh -huh. that they're doing another Seinfeld night. I couldn't do it last year because uh, I was shooting something. But uh, they're talking about doing a Banya bobblehead. So, <laughs> oh, my God. Is that, <laughs> is that exciting or what? That's pretty good. Now, yeah, they did have, like, the, uh, the Elaine Bad Dancing dance-off last year at, uh, at Cyclones Park. That, that would have been fun for you to, to be there for. I think they're doing a Save by the Bell reunion this year, too, if you can make it yeah. for that. You <laughs> know, it's just, it, that kind of stuff it just never stops. Like, I always think I do stand-up, and I wasn't talking about Seinfeld at all. But people are like, hey, uh, you didn't talk about Seinfeld. I always want to say, well, it was 20 years ago. And finally, right. you know, finally one guy looked at me and goes, it was on today. <laughs> how, like, how, okay. Okay. Is there a day that goes by where somebody doesn't throw the Ovaltine line at you or one of the, I mean, it, it seems like it's something you, you'll never be able to get it off your clothes. It's like pollen. Yeah, it, it, it's never going to go away. So you got to just embrace it. You can't fight it. I just always, you know, when people kind of start screaming the character, you know, you try and impress upon them that you're an actual human being. You know, they're just like, it's yeah, go, Jerry, it's go, Banya, Banya. And all you have to go, hey, uh, my name's Keith Heitner. And like, ah, uh, Banya. I'm like, no, oh, that's a fictional character. If I remember right, we've got Keith Hernandez coming on in about 20 or 25 minutes. And the Seinfeld finale, the very controversial Seinfeld finale, some loved it, some not so much. The courtroom scene, if I remember right, you're in one of those awesome sweaters. And you're actually sitting right next to Keith Hernandez. I know you're a Mets fan. I know you grew up in New York. How cool was that to be hanging for what I'm assuming is more than one day of shooting? Oh, with it's the unbelievable. Keith when you think about that, when you think about that finale, the courtroom scene took so long. We shot that like three straight days for 17 hours a day. Jeez. I, was, I was sitting right next to Keith. I was like his lap dog. I was like, <laughs> tell, tell me another story about Game Six. Tell me another. <laughs> was uh, w was the Seinfeld set? like we want to believe it was, where everybody's just kind of cutting up, having a great time, or because of the Larry David angst, what, was it a nervous set? You know what? I, that really came down to Jerry. And when you, for the whole seasons and stuff, if you had a great guest spot, that was one thing. But if, if like, he didn't really like you, he didn't like who you were, your energy or something, you weren't coming back. So by the time we got to that finale, which was basically a reunion show, not only was everybody good, but everybody was cool. So it was everything you want to believe. Everybody was unbelievably cool and talented. So it was just amazing to just be a part of. What's your, uh, your sports situation? I know you follow baseball. You follow some hockey. What, what else are you into? Well, I, I, look, I follow everything. Um, I got my New York football giants, which uh, apparently are having their difficulties right now. But at least <laughs> they know how to beat the uh, New England Patriots, right? Yeah, well, you know. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, you know... I got my Islanders. I could never cross over to the Rangers. I follow my Islanders. I don't know. They're, they're really setting me up to break my heart again. The Rangers just beat them in a huge game. I saw that little but, 6 6-5 comeback there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we will see what happens there. But, you know, um, I'll follow anything. You know, to, what do we got right here? We got the worst sports week of the year right now? Yeah, there's a little lull, right. but we've got the combine to keep us warm. So Yeah, the, the combine. Yeah, that, we'll be that, all over the, that. We're, that's what we do Rich here. Eisen, the great Rich Eisen is over there? Very, uh, yeah, Rich is, Rich is running his 40, so we're going to be talking to him soon about his, uh, his able-bodied preparation. Don't that's, you think he needs to be careful? Eventually he's going to pull something that's just going to put him down on the track. Don't yeah, no, I know. They'll shoot him like old Yeller probably. Steve, yeah. thank you so much for, uh, for being with us. Always a pleasure to catch up with you. We'll tell Keith you said what? Hello? Is that it? Tell him I said hi, and years ago he flirted with my girlfriend. I'm not over it. I, I'm not surprised <laughs> to hear. <laughs> Be, well, you know, he is Keith Hernandez. So. <laughs> yes, and I bow right. down as Thank you, dog. Steve, very much. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.